Have you ever played Silent Hill Tarnished? Silent Hill is, to many people, myself included, the best survival horror game ever made. Developed by KCET Studios, most commonly known as Team Silent, and published by Konami in February of 1999 with an intricate, amazingly written story, solid gameplay, disturbing themes, and fantastic lore. It revolutionized the survival horror genre, raising the standard for what was considered a quality survival horror game. Nowadays, the game might be considered a bit, um, robust to put it gently, but it still holds up to this day as a gaming masterpiece, one that you should definitely try out. The game has a ton of replayability too, inviting the player to beat the game over and over again to find secret items, get new weapons, and obtain all the different endings, of which there are a total of five. But did you know that there were rumors made in the late 90s about a secret sixth ending? These rumors kept the gaming community guessing and gossiping about it for nearly over a decade, and there are even people to this day who still talk about it, explaining to their peers that the alleged secret ending was, at the very least, sketchy. However, no matter how sketchy it seemed, it maintained an online presence for decades. But how did this come to be? How could something so innocuous and insignificant in such a young era of the internet even break language barriers and spread over to Spanish-speaking forums when the original rumour was in English? And was there any kind of truth to it? Today we are looking at Silent Hill's biggest rumour and mystery, the ambulance ending. And yes, spoiler alert, there will be spoilers for Silent Hill in this video. In the year of our Lord 1999, Silent Hill was released and gamers were immediately captivated by its mysterious atmosphere. The story follows Harry Mason, a devoted father, as he takes his seven-year-old daughter Cheryl, who has short black hair, to Silent Hill for a vacation. As they approach the town, Harry narrowly avoids hey bro, running over a person walking watch in the middle here, of the road, out. but unfortunately crashes his car in the process. When he regains consciousness, he discovers that his daughter is missing. He eventually finds her and chases her down an alleyway, only to witness his surroundings transform into a grotesque and nightmarish version of itself, filled with monsters, blood and gore. Harry is attacked by monsters, but then wakes up in a cafe, implying that it was all just a dream. It is likely that Harry was saved by Officer Sybil, who came to the town to investigate a case of drug dealing. Sybil gives Harry a gun, and they go their separate ways. Harry explores the town, battling evil monsters in the dense fog and dark night, all while searching for his daughter. Along the way, he discovers that a secret cult is responsible for the nightmare as they attempted to impregnate a psychic girl named a lesser with a demon. To summarise briefly, Harry's adoptive daughter Cheryl is revealed to be half of a lesser's soul, which was split during the ritual to prevent its success. The demon, though, does reside within a lesser, causing her to be trapped in a never-ending comatose nightmare for seven years. Harry and his wife found the baby in the middle of the road seven years prior to the events of the game and raised her as their own. By the end of the game, Cheryl and Alessa merge back into one being. Depending on the ending, Harry must confront either Cherylessa or the demon she was impregnated with. The game offers five different endings. One where it was all a dying dream. One where Harry kills Cherylessa and escapes with Sybil somehow. One where Harry kills the demon and is presented with a new baby by Cherylessa, allowing him to escape. One where Harry kills the demon and escapes with both the baby and Sybil, and one where Harry is abducted by aliens. The methods to achieve these endings were not clearly explained, so gamers had to rely on strategy guides to unlock them. Unlike today, the 90s were a different time, and there were no colossal platforms like YouTube for sharing information. Gamers had to find other ways to share their findings with online communities. Websites like GameFAQs were popular for posting strategy guides, cheat codes and if FAQs, making it easy for people to access gaming tips and tricks. Among these guides for Silent Hill, there is a specific guide created by a user named Gunsmith that can still be found on the site today. The first update for the guide, ironically named Last Update, was in March 1999. Below is the table of contents for the guide and at a mere glance you can see that it is a standard walkthrough guide, but it also includes a section called Rumor Mill. In this section, 
there is an extract from a post made on GameFAQs by a user named Phelan. The post claims that Felon managed to unlock a never-before-seen secret ending and provides the steps to obtain it. This particular iteration of the post is the earliest version I could find on the internet, as there are other transcripts from more recent times, like the one from the now-archived site Al Camilla Hospital. The original post was likely made in 1999 on a thread in the GameFAQs message boards, but unfortunately, its contents are not archived on the Wayback Machine. Since the post is quite lengthy, I will summarise it to keep this video from becoming unnecessarily long. However, I will include a link to an image of the post in the description in case you want to check it out. In the post, Felon discusses his accomplishment of completing the game five times, each time achieving a different ending, resulting in him earning golden stars in his ranking. Upon starting a new game and entering the school, he discovered previously unattainable items, namely glucose and distilled water. He attempted to utilize these items in various locations without success until he finally achieved a breakthrough in the hospital by using them to create an explosive device to blow open a door. It is funny because this individual claims to have fashioned a bomb out of glucose and distilled water. Additionally, he mentions discovering oil, which he used to repair an engine at a gas station. And astonishingly, he carried the entire engine with him all the way to the hospital. Just imagine Harry Mason running around Silent Hill with a complete engine in tow for a second. Funniest I've ever imagined. He then returned to the hospital, installed the engine in an ambulance and took it for a ride to another gas station where he stumbled upon the boat key. In the Indian runner section of the game, he was able to take the drugs from the safe. Normally you can't pick them up, just examine them. Using the boat key, he unlocked the boat by the pier, docked it at another location and found White Claudia, a drug utilised by the in-game cult to entice and retain new members. In the final stage of the game, he claims to have combined the drugs with the White Claudia and using the concoction against the final boss. Unfortunately, he does not elaborate on the resulting ending, but he does request recognition in any guides that reference his post. <laughs> I know that to many of you this may sound crazy, but remember that this was 1999. Rumours about anything were hardly taken with a grain of salt and would usually be deemed as real on a first impression and spread like wildfire. I am quite sure that more than one of you probably remember old gaming rumours like the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Bigfoot rumour, for example, or real-life rumours like Marilyn Manson removing his ribs to... Well, you know... And yes, you could test it out to try and obtain the ending, but even the author of the post claims that he was not sure how he got it. So any attempt at disproving it could be refuted simply by saying, you probably did it wrong. For many years to come, the rumour spread rapidly across message boards and forums. The previously mentioned guide, created by Gunsmith, received a second update on February 8th of 2000, stating that the ambulance thing was a fake from Felon. <laughs> As time passed and no footage of the ending ever surfaced, some gamers logically dismissed it as fake and moved on. However, other less informed gamers continue to ask about it, prolonging the existence of the meme for nearly a decade because there's always a curious soul who wants to believe. It even transcended language barriers and became a well-known piece of trivia within Spanish-speaking communities. The aforementioned post in Alcamila Hospital also includes a link to a video by a YouTube user named Lisa Garland 2 who recreated the ambulance ending for fun in a video, further perpetuating the rumour for many more years. But as time passed, technology advanced and internet users became more tech-savvy. In April 2018, a YouTube user named Gyromancy uploaded a video titled Silent Hill One Unused Monsters Close-Up and Animations. Through data mining, Gyromancy discovered the creature models and their corresponding animations that were created by Team Silent, but never included in the final game. People like Gyromancy had access to the game's most hidden files, yet unsurprisingly, there was no mention of the items, animations, or anything related to the ambulance ending. Even if you search online for data sheets of item IDs, you won't find anything resembling the items mentioned in the ambulance ending post in any way, shape, or form. In the past, many dismissed the ending as fake, but there was never any concrete evidence to prove its non-existence. It was all speculation, so the myth lived on. However, this time, we can confidently say that the case is closed. 
although some people still discuss it to this day. Isn't that just amazing? That only goes to show the power of human curiosity. We always crave knowledge and seek out intriguing things. The early days of the internet were shrouded in a veil of mystery, making it challenging to access accurate information. However, this allowed our imaginations to run wild, fueling our curiosity and sense of wonder. To us, Nothing can compare to the enchantment of the old internet era. Everything felt fresh and captivating, and even the most trivial things, like this goofy post about a secret Silent Hill ending, managed to captivate us. So thank you, Ambulance Ending. Thanks for nurturing our curiosity throughout the years. Stay curious, Tarnished. And as always, thanks for watching.